Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and in today's video, I want to cover how you can turn a cheap Arduino you might already have or can get easily from almost any online store into a programmer for BLHeli32 and BLHeli-S speed controllers. The USB programmer that I showed myself using in my two-year-old but very popular BLHeli programming guide is very hard to find, especially with the supply shortage and chip shortages right now, so I figured I would show how you can get these readily available Arduinos and turn them into programmers very, very easily, and then you can program your speed controllers just the same as you would with the USB programmer and follow my tutorial and get all your brushless things working just the way you want. In the future, I might even buy and resell some of these Arduinos in my own store. So with that, let's get onto it. So I have here an Arduino Nano. Hopefully you can read all of these pins. Um, right here on the bottom row now, GND, or ground, and D3, or digital pin 3, are the only two we care about. Black goes to ground, white goes to D3 for the signal wires. So I have here, I just used two breadboard jumpers for this, um, which are a black and a white breadboard jumper. They're just male to male pins. And then just shoving the male pin into the uh, servo connector here. And then I'm not going to solder this at all because it's not really necessary. I'm just going to stick it through the hole here and here. When you get these, they actually come with a bunch of breadboard pins. You could actually just solder the breadboard pins on here and then you should be able to plug the servo connector right into it. But I'm just doing this because it's quick and easy and I might reuse this Arduino for something else later. Um, so anyway, this just needs to sit somewhere so that there's a connection made there. And then we have uh, a mini USB cable for this particular Arduino. By the way, if you're using a different Arduino than the Nano, the signal wire needs to go to a different pin. For the Uno, it needs to go to D11. For the Mega, it needs to go to D51. And for anything else, you'll have to look it up yourself, but it probably will be written somewhere. If you just Google like BL Heli program with whatever do we know it is. Now we also need to connect a power source to this speed controller. So I'm gonna grab a LiPo battery real quick. I just have a 3S LiPo here, and I have my uh, all-in-one PCB here, not because I'm trying to sell it to you, but you, you could buy it, but actually just because it's a convenient way for me to connect the power to my speed controller here. So we're just gonna do that. Boop. All right, so now I'm gonna open up the software. You would open it up to this page. I'll go to Make Interfaces. Nano 328, in my case, old bootloader. If it doesn't work with old bootloader, choose new bootloader. Leave the baud rate as it is. I'm gonna select Arduino BLH bootloader instead of the four-way interface because I'm only trying to program one at a time and I think it changes which pins are needed for the uh, four-way. And then there's only one option for the hex. And most important, when you plug this in, if you haven't done this before, hopefully a driver downloads that uh, is like a serial driver and then you should see an option under the COM ports for your Arduino once you've plugged it in over USB. Um, if I unplug this real quick, um, you'll see there's now no option. When I plug it back in, then uh, that option should reappear and we can select it. And then you just click this Arduino BL Heli bootloader button, boom, hit yes. And then if it flashed successfully, it'll say it flashed successfully and please select BLHeli32 bootloader USB slash COM interface. So we just go to select BLHeli interface, select the USB slash COM interface. Now we can go to ESC setup and uh, I'm gonna hit read setup. And we see ESC setup read successfully. And now to show you this worked, I'm gonna change the LED from purple to red. Right setup, boom, it's red. Change it back to purple, right setup, boom, it's purple. All right, so this is working perfectly. You can change any of the settings on here and it'll work fine. These are the settings I have for Divisions Drive because this is a Division Drive speed controller. Um, if you, I'll, the settings, how to set them and stuff, I covered in a different video, so I'll just link that below. But um, to, just so you know, if you are doing stuff like me where you have a bunch of configurations saved, if you want to save a setup to an INI file, you can just hit save to INI and do it there. If you want to load something you already saved, you can do it like this, select it and then load it. In my case, I'm just gonna 
read back the uh, one I saved yesterday. Boom. And then write it. Also, you might see fewer options than me or different options than me here. Um, every time you plug in a speed controller for the first time to do this, I highly recommend you do a Flash BL Heli. And that way you'll get the latest firmware with the most options for your speed controller. So even though I had done that with this before months ago, I got two new options that appeared uh, when I did this yesterday. So there's always updates happening to BL Heli software and they add different configuration options for different speed controllers. So if you just do this flashing, you'll make sure that you have all of the possible options for your given speed controller. And that way you should at least see most, if not all of the options that I have in front of me when I was doing my tutorial video and stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, and then I want to write current settings, boom. And yeah, it tells you probably don't put a propeller on your motor when you're testing in case it cuts you. All right, that should be everything you need to see for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe and click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.